Michele Bonsignore from Italy, trainer here at the camp. Welcome. What will be the subject of your lecture now? Yes, good morning. And today the subject is uh, to remember the couples that for to dance uh, high to level good performance is better to remember the movement into the basic steps. To use the technique and the, the legs action and the body action from the basic step and not only in the dynamic uh, choreography and uh, this is important uh, for my opinion. Sounds very exciting. We are looking forward to watch your lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you. We okay. have the fabulous Michele Bonsignori for today and his Good lecture. Good One of the Thank best you. lecturer I know in the camp over many, many years. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Good morning again and buongiorno a tutti. So, uh, we start this lecture and um, the subjects coming just from yesterday and not only for yesterday, the day also before I teach him. And um, during the lessons, uh, not into the top couples, into the ranking of WDSF, but uh, in the future top couples, youth couples, or at the moment not top couples in amateur, but very young in amateur and can be champion in the future. During the lesson, I see that they dance a very nice choreography uh, about everything, about the position, movement. Uh, if we are in the swing dancing, the swing is fantastic. The choreography to take you the teachers plus the couples prepare very interesting steps and combination with the music in each dances. And every time, or sometimes, not every time, sometimes I ask to the couple before to finish the lessons, okay, now we check the choreography. I tell to you, try the best uh, curve feather in foxtrot, or remember, follow reverse slip pivot in tango, try to do this, try to do this, left side forward. Uh, a little bit of the arms down, body weight more to close the floor, okay? Remember this, don't forget when you come back at home. Before to finish, can you dance one time a basic steps? If we are in tango, in tango, if we are in quick step, a quick step, a foxtrot, in foxtrot. And many times the couple, they don't know which basic step represent the dancing that we do in the lessons. As a one classical is, a, for example, Foxtrot. So, and they don't know, they don't remember the important uh, group step, a basic step, where every couple, and together with the teachers, understand how to move the, the feet, the legs, the knees, the hips, the bodies, uh, the body weight, plus in relation with the partner. So, my question is this, how is possible to dance fantastic choreography height level if the couple, they don't know the basic steps. They don't know the basic step and they don't understand the movement in the basic steps, but they dance fantastic choreography. So, so something is wrong, something is wrong. I know that uh, now in 2017, in the competition WDSF, the, the teacher have a little bit of stress, like the couples, because in the top competition and maybe in all competition in the future, we use uh, the WDSF introduce the system 2.1 and we have the partner skill, movement to music, choreography presentation and technical quality. So the couple prepare all four criteria in their performance. But <clears throat> for to dance a high level choreography and fantastic movement, we need to, to improve to improve our balance, personality balance into the movement. And when we talk about personality balance into the movement, the step, steps are not important. Complicated steps or basic steps. It's important to improve our balance and our, our quality of the movement. And the quality of the movement is a come from uh, the feet, the knees, the hips, if you don't understand this, uh, nice choreography, but no very good basic step, couple is not ending champion. This is my opinion. So, for example, if this morning I, I call one couple from Russia 
to help me in this lecture. And uh, it's the world champion couples, Ezedima and Olga, Kulikova and Jaco. So, so. And I show to you very easy what I want to realize in my lecture. If I put a little bit of music and you dance, uh, I know that it's too early in the morning. I don't pretend the maximum fantastic feeling and performance, but a little bit to one group of your choreography steps in Foxwood. Thank you. So, thank you, Dima. Yeah, warm up, a little bit warm up. If you want to dance, I go to continue to sleep in the hotel, no problem. So, and uh, you see that this is, uh, at the moment, is the best couple in our federation, uh, WDSF. And they dance fantastic. Too early in the morning, too late in the evening, in the afternoon. They dance fantastic. Position, feeling, movement. And the movement is a three dimension. You see basic step in the middle of the height level choreography, difficult steps in the ending. Uh, they change the speed, they change the rhythm. This is possible because many years ago, and I know because I follow this couple for many years, in the Foxtrot, for example, we talk many times about the principle of the Foxtrot, and which one basic step represent more than the other steps, the Foxtrot, that we have a feather step, left turn, feather finish, three step, right turn, and hesitation. This is one easy choreography that's only basic step. We have other basic step, but the more classical, for to understand the progressive movement, the rotation to the left, the rotation to the right, and where coming this rotation. The first thing in all dance is a swing, but now in Foxtrot, is the progressive movement forward or backwards, this is the swing. So when we dance, I dance, for example, the feather step, my center, and my body dance forward. Left turn, now my body, in the second part of the left turn, my center dance backwards. So three step now, my center dance forward. So it's important to feel when my center dance forward, or when my center dance backwards, or my body go forward, or my body go backwards. And I don't talk about the legs, I talk about the center. Is a, for example, very quickly, promenade, I dance backwards, I don't dance forward. The step move forward, but my center dance backwards. And the lady, exactly in all steps, opposite the man. If I dance forward, the lady dance backwards. I talk about the center, backwards, forward. Not one step, we are in connection to side together. Also the chasse, progressive chasse, but doesn't matter. So the first priority is to move forward, backwards, but to feel that with your legs, connection on the floor, you drive forward, backwards, your vertical line and your center and your weight. This is the first thing. The second thing is the rotation, because in the foxtrot, after the progressive movement, that is the priority, 
we have the body rotation. Easy. We bend the knees and we turn the body. In relation to the music, we have a four beat for to turn the body to the right and four beat for to turn the body to the left. Sometimes four beat, sometimes only two beat, like a left turn. The first part I turn to the left, the second part a little bit to the right, backwards, and then I go again to the left. It's not possible for beat to the left, for beat to the right. But doesn't matter. The second information is turn the body in correct harmony with the beat of the music. If I dance, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. This is too much, but you see that the quality of the movement is not represent the foxtrot. If we dance progressive swing, plus we turn the body to the right, to the left, back to the right, forward to the left, you see the movement and the rotation is smooth, linear. The third one is the sway. The sway is the third one. Must be the third one and the last one element, no first. Please, no first. Because if I move forward and I turn the body, we have the natural sway in relation to my progressive steps, like the flight. It's natural. I go forward, I curve, and the natural sway coming. These three elements produce today Foxworth, tomorrow Waltz. We change the proportion about the, or the intensity about these three elements in relation to our step and our music. But now we are in Fox. Progressive movement, rotation, and natural sway. So I would like that the couple listen the bodies step by step or swing by swing to drive the center direction, turn the body, and natural sway. So, progressive rotation, natural sway. Progressive rotation, natural sway. Progressive rotation, natural sway. And not just like robots into the choreography. You study only the movement into the choreography. These three elements can come from your balance. Your balance is determined about your, your feet your coordination feet on the floor and your coordination legs during the movement. Like when you're walking. You have the stability standing foot, standing leg, you release the standing leg, the knees move forward, the body weight starts to move forward, the moving leg coordinates, and then you do the step. I don't think that you walk in this way. This is so funny. So, about this is important to study the quality of the movement of the knees or of the legs. If I dance a feather step, I don't go directly, straight away forward. So, during the preparation, my left standing leg, my knees to the left, move forward. I turn a little bit the hips, my center started to move forward. The moving leg coming under my center, slide to the other foot and now I do this step forward. In the end, there is a good step and my legs are open but in correct alignment and not slow, open in a larger way. This is wrong. So, before every swing, we have the reset point before to go. Reset, reset point for to go, reset. For to reset, we have strong standing foot that permit my spine, my vertical line, to reset the balance for another one swing action. Reset and again. When we talk about the knees, close the knees, it's wrong. I don't want that couple understand to close the knees. It's a one I call slight movement about the knees coordination. In one second, they are very close, but very near, but not close. And they are in a movement. And then we have the steps, big step or short steps, depending on the choreography of the step that you have. 
and this is important. This coordination permits to drive to control your body and the body weight throughout the feet and not opposite. Body weight fixed and the legs dance the choreography. This is wrong. So, when I ask to the couple, okay, one minute before to, to leave you free after the lesson, basic steps. Uh, for example, can you start from feather finish? Ah, yes, feather finish, feather finish. Uh, yes, this is ending finish, but why you start from bounce following? Uh, because a feather finish, Michele, is a come in the ending of bounce following. No. If I ask to you feather finish, I want to see you to dance three steps. Slow, quick, quick. Why you start from beginning choreography and you have only one feather finish in the end of choreography? After two minutes, I wait you to show to me the feather finish. Okay, another one question. Uh, can you dance left turn? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have. Lady heel turn. Yes, is this, but why you start from follow reverse slip pivot? Because in my choreography, after follow reverse slip pivot, I have, we have a left rotation. Yes, but I ask to you, left rotation. Basic steps, three. Slow, quick, quick. That's. I understand that the couple forget immediately the basic steps and how to coordinate to improve their movement into the basic step for to arrive to dance good movement in the difficult choreography. To dance a difficult choreography is more easy than the basic steps because we have a more dynamic, we are more dynamic. W spin over spin, pivot change direction is much more easy than left turn, perfect free movement and not so dynamic rotation with the, together with the partner. But I, I like more to dance double reverse spin, pivot and change direction. Yes, I don't critical your favorite group steps. Me too. I feel more dynamic, more interesting, more speed. Double reverse spin, over spin, pivot, change direction. That left turn. I talk about that. Improve your personality movement and after you can dance what you want. But how is possible to organize my knees in the double spin over spin? I need to improve in my body and my legs. Left rotation, the knees to the right. Forward, forward around the lady. So my body weight over the feet. I turn, I go back, I reset, and I am ready. When you are 100% uh, control this system, you can do in the dynamic, you are free in the mind, but your body understand. The knee is to the right, you pass the lady. When your body weight cross your right foot, you continue to turn, you invite the lady, step forward, you turn. You, are, you have strong feet and soft knees for to continue the dynamic. Because for many years, your teacher teach to you the basic step and your muscles in the legs, your knees, remember. So, Dima, Olga, sorry. Can you dance, choo choo, the basic steps?
So, so you see that before they danced the choreography, they danced more steps, more difficult, uh, outside sp curve feather, outside spin, and a type of bounce fully syncopated, chase, outside spin, uh, reverse weave. Now they dance only classical basic step, but you see that the upper part of the body is so beautiful connection position, beautiful space between the two bodies, beautiful harmony movement, like difficult and dynamic group steps. So the steps are not important. I know that in competition, to have good choreography is important for the couple, is important for the judge, for, to give to you the marks, good marks in relation choreography presentation. But in your country, with your teachers, in your studio, please, after the performance preparation, spend 10 minutes each time to show the basic steps. I remember Dima and Olga many times after the waltz, they showed to me the choreography in the waltz, Michele, sorry, I have one idea. Uh, what do you think if we dance running cross chassis and we, we do the curve and the chase, outside spin, blah, 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 blah? Is better this or is better this? So we prepare the choreography. They prepare. We confirm, yes, this is good, this is not good. And every time they ask to me, okay, Michele, before to finish, I want to show to you a natural chair, spin chair, left turn, and then, if I remember, whisk into something. So, this couple now understand. They understand. Choreography is important. How to coordinate our movement in perfect dynamic choreography comes from to study the basic step and to improve your coordination in the legs and the bodies in the basic steps. You remember this step in the words that sometimes you use in the competition. So. Thank you. So, thank you, Dima. Thank you, Olga. So you see that. Thank you. They introduce one, two, three of natural turn, speed turn, left rotation, six steps to the left, a type of a foley. Uh, they modificate the ending foley. Uh, they dance uh, promenade and then free choreography. So this is important. And to dance these group steps, they spend much more energy than the tumble tour, back running, or fully whisk a pivot. Because uh, we have um, not so much dynamic, and to coordinate our knees, our legs, stay in the balance, to communicate to the lady when to start, to drive and control the swing, and another one, to drive and control and communicate to the lady when is more stressed than tumble tour, pivot, change direction. I spend more energy before than now. Of course, the tumble turn, pivot change of direction, I feel more free, I feel more dynamic. But the champion, the couple champion, title, no title, a good couple, and uh, in this training camp we are lucky because I see many good couple in the ranking WDSF, they dance total. Total is a basic step, they are fantastic in the basic step. They are fantastic in the choreography because the body starts, the computer starts to understand, plus they improve the feet, the legs. When I talk about the legs, I talk about the knees, the hips, the body, rotation, CBM, body weight, metronomo, everything. It's not complicated, but we need to spend a little bit of time with the teacher for to understand everything, in every sport, in every sport. So, and uh, another one thing, for example, yesterday in Foxtrot, after Feda finish, 
One couple, no one couple, more than one couple dance, three step, slow, quick, quick. Probably in the choreography, they don't dance at three steps. But if you don't teach, you don't learn, your legs not learn the coordination. So three step, or further finish into quick, 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 that many couple dance in the choreography, your legs are sumo position one more time. So first of all, remember, ask to you what I dance. I dance, after the finish, I dance left rotation. And I want to feel that my standing leg, my hips, my center, together with the partner, we prepare the CBM for the step forward. The second step continue forward to side, and the right foot is a little bit in the middle of the lady steps, and not out. I remember one couple, my friends, that come from another one school, another one teacher, and said to me, oh, Michele, I dance a weave in this way, because my teacher said to me that I have a big muscles in the legs and not possible to do the CBM. So, I don't think that you have monkey legs, you are normal legs. A lot of ham or not a lot of ham, muscles or no muscles, thin or a little bit more large, it doesn't matter. When you dance with, what you dance? You dance right rotation, side step, CBM, side step, CBM, side step, CBM, side step, CBM. And the legs are natural, soft to close. Not because you have big muscles, doesn't matter. You put the lady out and you dance with. So come on. So it's a shock to me. I hope that now they understand, and I hope that they dance much better these uh, group steps. So we have a logical system. It's not that not possible to modify it. We modify the steps, following into something, close the feet. Yes, we can, but not possible to change the coordination of the legs. It's impossible. So please. Continue to ask your teacher in each dance the basic steps plus the movement. Same, the same yesterday, tango. Control the choreography, very good choreography, very good couple, very good power. Rhythm, rhythmical, nice steps, nice balance. Finito lezione, in the end of the lessons, I ask, can you dance? Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Da, yes. Yeah, no problem. So the basic steps to walk forward. Preparation before to start. What I dance, I dance forward to the left. And curve to the left. Progressive link, the first step is to the left. The second step is to the right. Promenade, right, right, right. The last one step is a little bit to the left. I want to feel that I dance forward to the left, I turn to the right to thank you my legs, I change my body rotation, right, 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 left. And I use the standing leg, I change my hips and the knees forward every time. Slow, slow, quick, quick. It's wrong. Start the choreography. Sorry, which steps dance? I don't know, I dance forward, side, and uh, which rotation you dance? Uh, left, no, 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 I dance right. I don't know, how? You dance choreography, difficult, fantastic. I asked you two steps progressive, basic, and you don't know. How is possible, no, no correct proportion? So, progressive. Close the feet or start in this way, it doesn't matter. If you have a choreography, slow, you can. Different shape, different timing. Left, right, and not, no sway, no sway. Sway can come in natural way, natural way. 
So, Dima, Chuchut, basic step in tango. Yes, only this one. Thank you, thank you. So, what I like, what I like. So, it's a simple choreography, but they drive left, 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 right, 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 left. Plus, in the last one, Dima understand that every control comes from the standing leg. Olga moving legs, she's here, standing leg is here. Depend how Dima move from the standing leg, his body, Olga follow him, and he can change until the last second. He can produce the surprise. This is a power in tango. But come from to understand the basic steps. So, Zharkov, sorry. One more time, free choreography in Foxtrot. Thank you. So you see that the couple, the couple dance and they have the situation under control. This is, a, is important because they understand how to use the standing leg, the knees and the body. So the last one thing before to finish. I remember, first of all I show to you and after I remember to you one thing. Sorry Dima Olga, can you just only uh, side the steps before to start feather step? Coordination position, uh, side step before to start something, but you don't start, you stop. Three, four, five, six, seven, stop. So now, thank you. You see, sorry, sorry, sorry. You see that Olga standing foot, the heel, is a touch of the floor. Thank you. For many, many years ago, Olga, like many other couple, she danced backwards side step, wind up or foot rise, body rise, and Dima stay down. So this is wrong. And I said to her, hey, Olga, you are one of the best couple on the world, but for me, you start very bad in the world in this position or foxhood. Why? Because you dance. Backwards in this case, stand the leg, you move your center backwards, you transfer to the body weight here. Now you can use the stand the leg, you can prepare the wind up preparation for natural turn or feather step, but 
your body weight is a perfect connection on the floor. I don't like, it doesn't matter. This is my job. I give to you my experience. After, you are one of the top couples on the world. If you do this, for me it's correct. If you didn't, for me it's not good. Be careful. After some years, she understands. But now she is a world champion. So big thanks, Dima and Olga. Thank you for helping me in this lecture. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. And please, it's, the situation is not complicated. When you come back at home in your country, together with your teacher, couple, ask to the teachers, basic step in words, basic steps in tango, foxtrot, quick step, and Plus, that is important to understand if you dance to the right, to the left, to the right, how you need to coordinate your legs, standing leg and moving legs. This is important. Difficult step or basic steps. Thank you. Thank you. See you next year.